Good morning. Happy Thursday to all you Facebook friends. Hey, this video is is really focused on parents of kids in development stages. Sorry if I'm looking back and forth. Yeah, I had a conversation with an adult uh, parent this morning, and you know, like, one of the most common questions we get, or common concerns we get, is my kid isn't running right. You know, he doesn't. He's not hitting on the right part of his foot. I need to get him on his toes, or maybe maybe it would be my kids are doing funny things with their arms when they run and I'm really concerned I need to get this fixed you know I want I want you to I want you to consider that your child is in development so if your if your athlete is anywhere between the age of I don't know 4 and exiting puberty they're in a developmental stage regardless of if you want to acknowledge that or not, that's where they're at. So let me explain it. You've got to make sure that you look at this almost like caterpillar to butterfly type process. There are necessary steps. So if you if if you don't allow your child to run heavy on their heels through a certain period of time, they're not going to stimulate the tissue development, um, the adaptations of the calcaneus, the heel, the necessary pressure that stimulates bone growth, tendon and ligament adaptation, you don't need them to run correct right now. You need to keep introducing them to concepts about how to run correctly so that their brain and their neurological responses actually start to form. But if they ran correct right now, you're gonna limit their development on the future. So getting them up on their toes or whatever, you, you have uh, bias towards a technique that you think that is, is correct. Um, that's a different conversation. My opinion is the only technique that's correct is the technique that specifically works for these individuals. So you've got, that's why a coach is important. Being able to identify and see things in movement is, is huge. But the reality is, is your kids aren't gonna run correctly. They're not gonna run right most of the time. And you need to be more than comfortable with the fact that there's gonna be periods of time in their development where they are fast. And there are gonna be periods of time in their development where they are slower than expected where maybe they were faster than a kid for a few years or the fastest kid on their you know, soccer team and now they're the slowest. And this is normal, this is very normal. I don't care if your kid's gonna be a pro or just gonna live in their body for the rest of their life, you need to be comfortable with this. And you also need to understand that all these things are stages of development. Hitting in different parts of your foot when you run, a lot of that has to do with timing systems. And you gotta consider that if one day your femur is longer on your right side than your left, or say your, you know, the bone between your knee and your your foot, let's for basics, your tibia, shoots up an inch, and then it's not directly in proportion anymore to the bone between their knee and their hip. Of course, they're not going to hit their foot in the right spot when they run. Their timing's off. It makes a lot of sense. So don't panic with when these things happen. Instead of panicking, understand that it's the body's way. God made us this way so that. As we move with those things in, in place, it's part of our body's ability to create robust tissues and advance the development of all the things that are gonna make us complete in our development. So I think trying to bypass that, I think that's faulty logic. I think continue to introduce them to concepts. It's like, you know, obviously I'm a big proponent of training constantly. Yeah, playing different sports is great, but if you don't have someone coaching and training your athlete, then you're going to really miss some of these concepts with them. And what I mean by that is, even if they're not running correctly, they need to continuously be introduced to concepts and movement problem solving concepts and, and really initiatives and ways that they can personally overcome different things that they're going through in their development. Because if not, you're gonna be hung up on, well, my kid's arms don't move right. Well, there's a lot of development going on in their shoulder girdle right now. This may be a necessary thing for them to move through, and you don't want to bypass that. Same thing with where is their foot hitting? Are they, man, I need my kids running on my toes or just heavy. Prayers for those folks. I hope everything's okay. It could be that there's, you know, that is a necessary thing they need to go through. Think about the caterpillar to butterfly phenomenon. Your child is not that much different than that. You've got to make sure that you allow them, not necessarily to struggle, I don't think all pain is good or whatever, I, but I think allow them to move through these processes so their tissues develop correctly, so that their body can stimulate growth in the right ways for the right reasons, 
and you don't need to be panicked about their technique all the time because their technique is a mirror of where they're at in their development. That doesn't mean you can't correct or improve. That means that you need to be careful with the things that you try to make them do. They're not gonna move like, what's up DeMarco? They're not gonna move like a professional athlete because they're not developed like a professional athlete. And if you took a professional athlete that you see us work with or anyone else or that you that you admire that's, uh, that's on TV, they didn't move like that when they were that age either. I can promise you that. And I can tell you that definitively because at this point, we've worked with over, I mean, over 25 athletes that we started with in elementary school that are professional athletes and one of seven sports. So I'm not trying to be rude, but I can tell you definitively that you're wrong. They don't need to move like that right now. They need to move in the way that they move best currently, and they need to be continually introduced to concepts so that they feel more comfortable and that their body can develop at the pace that they need to. Don't want to rant. Um, I just know a lot of parents get really panicked and they'll come to me and say or all our coaches our team and say oh my gosh like what are we going to do about his running form it's it's terrible and they want to correct it but I think you got to look closely at does it need to be corrected or are they going through a developmental process that's crucial for them long term just as a human being that's going to live in their body much less an athlete and what we would love to do is empower you in that process and be a part of that of course but if not just rest easy and know that you don't need to completely panic all the time if your kid's technique isn't perfect because your technique wouldn't be perfect either if, you're, if your big toe on your left side was out of proportion to where the rest of your toes should be or your tibia or femur length or your humerus length and it's normal I mean if you it's so obvious to us for watching a cartoon and you know like a cartoon animal has one wing that's bigger than the other and it's like of course they don't fly right but I think as parents we get so emotional we don't see and identify those things in our own kids you gotta be okay with the fact that your kid is not finished they are developing they still need coaching through that process it's crucial but don't expect perfection don't expect it to look like how it's gonna look when it's done Went on a little longer than I'd like. Man, I hope everybody has an incredible Thursday. If you want it to be, it will be. Uh, be the best you always. That's the only thing that matters. All love. Hope everybody has a great day. Shoot me any questions, anything that you want me to go live on. I'm going to start trying to do a lot more of this. We want to bring information to you guys that's relevant to you that can help you where you're at, whether you are a part of the APEC family or not. I want to make sure to share this passion and um, all this stuff that we've come across that we found helpful for people. So shoot me questions, shoot me topics. I'm going to start doing this a lot more. Thanks. God bless.